Hello my friends, welcome to the first in a series of videos that are going to be about getting to know your RAV better. And I'm going to go through individually each scale and talk about what movements within the scale work, what triads and dyads are available, and give you kind of a deeper understanding and connection to each of the scales. The first scale I'm going to talk about today is the B Celtic Double Ding. Where this is such a popular scale, I thought this would be a suitable place to start. This is a, a great scale for people who like to improvise. It has a good variety of chords available to it. It's pentatonic based, so if you know a guitar player or a piano player that understands how to play in a pentatonic way, which is kind of like a, a blues scale, minus a half step, then you'll be able to play along very easily with people. This sort of scale matches songs like All Along the Watchtower, um, and a lot of pop songs use a pentatonic based progression. So let's look at the B Celtic Double Ding a little bit closer and get to know it better. Let's take a look. So what's unique about the B Celtic Double Ding as opposed to other rav scales is that this has two octaves of the bass note that's within the scale. So there's an A. A and upper octave A. And then you also have the B. Because of this, you, there's a lot of sympathetic resonance with this scale, so you're able to do a lot more filling in during your compositions. So if I were to play something like a recent song of mine on this, Looking at this scale the way you would be seeing it while playing it, if you're focusing on making the sound major, you want to avoid this bottom note. So ignoring this, you have sort of like an A major scale. In working with this scale, there's really two different movements that you have available to you. You can play it like a major scale, ignoring the B bass note, and in doing that you create a happier, more uplifting sound. You're not really changing the notes that are available, but just not focusing on the B as your root note or your anchor note changes the general feel of the instrument. So this is me playing, ignoring that B bass note. So to create a major sounding progression on this, we're really going to focus on the center note, the octave of that, the other A, and up the scale from that point. So we're really ignoring the first and the second note. These two notes are what make it sound pentatonic. 
Um, so in ignoring these ones, it's gonna give you a happier, more uplifting feel, almost like a D major, but set in A versus in, um, in D. So again, using this note, third note, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Some chords that are available on this, using the major, again, the A major sound. That is third and fifth. Here are some patterns that you can practice using the A major portion of this scale. Adding on to that progression. Adding on the so we're taking that first part five six seven six five four three four five five six seven six five four three four Another quick thing you can practice with, using your pointer finger and your thumb, creating an L, you're hitting both the third note and the fifth note. so you can try that. Adding on to that, To do that, all I'm doing is keeping this rhythm. I'm hitting the top note. And I'm hitting on the downstroke of this hand. So I'm Playing this as a more B pentatonic scale, you're going to want to ignore the center note, and it's going to sound more like just the B Celtic minor. So again, really to change that, you're just ignoring the center note.
some simple melodies you can play. And all I'm doing is hitting the bottom note. Bottom note, six, five, four, three, four. Bottom note, six, five, four, three, four. So, another way to capitalize on this Celtic feel is to do sort of like a waltz step, and this is three, four in a time signature. So, if you hit the bottom note, and I'm using the, the sixth and the fourth note. So, bottom note, four, six. And you're counting to three as you're playing this. You're hitting. This is, these aren't the notes, but one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Using that same pattern, you can vary where you're going. So one, two, three. I'm doing just that bottom note, the four six, bottom note, three five, bottom note, two four. So bottom note, four six, bottom note, three five, bottom note, two four. Played at speed. Of course, you can add in the other hand once you're a little more comfortable with it. Dyads available on this particular scale. There's our. dyads are all right my friends I hope that helps you get to know your B Celtic double ding a little bit better it's one of the scales that isn't super complex to learn, but it poses a very different variable in terms of feel just by alternating that center note as your root note and that first note as your root note. There's a lot of emotional movement available on this scale. So it's one that I definitely recommend for people who want to be able to play in a major and minor and just people who like to explore on the RAV. Hope you guys found this useful and I look forward to talking about the D major next week. Stay well, friends, and I'll talk to you soon.